Hello, welcome to Easy Round, a simple and effective hydraulic device for checking and straightening wheel rims of 13 to 18 inch with the standard toolkit supplied and also rims of 19 inch to 22 inch with an optional larger toolkit supplied at extra cost. What you are about to see is a demonstration of how easy Easy Round is to handle and how quickly a rim repair can be achieved. You will notice on the right hand side of the screen that this particular rim is repaired in 8 minutes and 31 seconds and often it can be even much quicker. Easy Round can be placed on a table or a tire changer for ease of working. It is taken out of its shipping carton and the centre screw is placed upside down on the circular pin located on the base plate. The black locking wheel is unscrewed and the cone supplied in the standard toolkit is removed. The rim is now placed on the unit. The cone is replaced and the black locking wheel is screwed down firmly to hold the rim securely. Easy round and the rim are now inverted and once more placed on the circular pin of the base plate. There is a chrome height locking screw which has to be unscrewed before we can raise the piston to a given height. The wheel is rotated to achieve this height to be able to fit a tool. We select an appropriate tool from the toolbox which will depend on the diameter of the wheel and whatever we want to repair. It's firmly screwed in and the wheel is rotated back to an appropriate height for the piston to begin working. The chrome height screw is secured by screwing it tightly again. There is also a black part of the centre screw which can be adjusted to take a higher position or lower position. There is a safety pin which is released at the front of the unit before pressure can be applied. And there is also a black circular wheel which has to be unscrewed to release the pressure or screwed tightly to apply the pressure. We now begin working on the area of the rim which has been damaged and before we apply the pressure there is a spacer bar, it's a black spacer bar with an up engraved on it which has to be placed to give contra pressure otherwise we have a sort of egg shape um, on our rim. We watch the pressure gauge and we will apply a small amount of pressure, probably around 100 bar to begin with. We're now applying pressure with the pressure handle. And working our way around the arc, the part of the rim that has been damaged. We take out the spacer bar at the back so that we can rotate the rim to see how we're doing. We still need quite a bit of work on this rim. Spacer bar is replaced because we're going to apply pressure again. And the wheel is tightened at the front. Now we're going up to roughly 200 bar. Easy Round is a great safety device because if there would be a micro fracture at this point then there would be a loud burst, a loud pop of the rim, the fissure would be uh, widened and the rim has to be scrapped and cannot be repaired. So 
Easy Round saves lives. We're still working our way around the part which has been damaged and you will notice that each time we apply the pressure and release it the wheel has a memory in the metal and the metal goes round back to a concentric shape which was its original shape. We're up to around 200 bar now and you will have heard a loud a release of the pressure when the screw is untightened at the front. We're nearly done on the rim now. Release the pressure. Take out the spacer bar, rotate the wheel. We're happy with the amount we have managed to bring back to concentricity. Now we've done the main part of the rim, but we haven't done the lip of the rim. So we rotate the wheel again, raising the height, unscrew the tool from the piston and we're going to place a tooth-like tool in the end of the piston which we screw in tightly which will now be applied with the piston to the lip of the rim only. We screw down the height of the unit of the piston, making sure that the tool does not quite touch the inner part of the rim, so it is free to have an effect only on the lip. We tighten the front screw to apply the pressure, and we mustn't forget the back spacer bar for the contra pressure. We notice which part of the lip has been damaged and we're now adjusting the height exactly to affect the repair of the lip. Usually a lip repair does not need more than about 100 to 150 bar pressure. We put in the spacer bar, tighten the wheel at the front, We undo the locking nut so that we can heighten the piston. We forgot to take out the weight on the rim, so we unscrew the black screw. And it's better always to release the tool when pressure is applied, so that we apply a little pressure here, then it's easier to unscrew the tool. Pressure is released and the whole rim has been repaired. We thank you very much for watching this demonstration. We are at your service for any other details that you may require. Thank you very much.